Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us Across the Fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. As the largest and most diverse academic institution in Burlington, the University of Vermont gets a lot of attention. But the city is also home to a smaller college known nationally for its innovative programs and career-focused education. As we continue our focus on Vermont colleges and universities, we're highlighting Champlain College and welcoming its president, Alex Hernandez. Champlain was established in 145 years ago, its programs now draw more than 2,100 full-time graduates and 1,400 online undergrads and 550 graduate students. Their studies can include areas like cybersecurity, mobile and web development, and social justice. President Hernandez began his tenure in June of 2022. He comes to Champlain from the University of Virginia, where he served as Dean of Continuing and Professional Studies and as Vice Provost of Online Learning. Welcome, President Hernandez, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Fran. Good morning. Good morning. So as a relative newcomer to the state, what attracted you to Champlain College and Vermont? Champlain College is a career-focused four-year college in Burlington, Vermont. And when I was getting to know Champlain College, my wife and I would walk around the streets of Burlington and ask people to describe a Champlain graduate in one word. And the same word kept popping up, ready, which is an extraordinary word to describe a college graduate. So our students hit the ground running when they graduate. They are kind. Uh, they know how to work with others and ask important questions. And this was really meaningful to me because I grew up in Central California where there is not a lot of opportunity, but it seemed like at each turn there was an educator that helped my family turn education into career. So my father had dropped out of college and an educator helped bring him back to start a career as a public school educator. When I was in college, uh, people encouraged me to learn uh, accounting at Microsoft Excel so I could get my first job and gain my first foothold as an adult. So uh, that's really shaped my career as an educator. Uh, I started my career in business and I left my job to be a high school math teacher and I've been in education ever since. And the common theme is how we can increase access to an education that creates opportunity. That's what led me to the University of Virginia and that's why I feel so blessed to be here at Champlain College because that's really the mission of our college and a place where we can help students build a better future. Sure. Awesome. So, you know, you have this clear education path. Um, how it seems to be very important to your whole, whole family. Is that tr still true for yeah. your parents, for your generation? And, and here's your beautiful family here. Thank you. Yes, that is my family. I have a twin boys who are high school uh, students, so I'm not just uh, uh, working in higher education. I'm also uh, going through the journey uh, with, with, my, <laughs> with my own sons. Excellent. So since starting as president, how have you been engaging and getting to know Champlain and, and Vermont communities? So the first thing I did when I joined Champlain was I sat down with dozens of students and alumni to understand how the college changed their lives and what it means for them to be ready, uh, ready for work, ready for life, ready to make a difference is what we talk about. And what I learned from them is they love our upside down curriculum where students take uh, courses in a career focused major the moment they set foot on campus. So they don't wait till their third or fourth year to start uh, classes in their major. And this allows them to get really meaningful internships in their first year, in their second year, in their third year, so that by the time you get out, you've had so many experiences, you are ready uh, to hit the ground running. Uh, I love building relationships with our students. Uh, just in the last few days, I watched our women in technology class Club fly drones in Argosy Gymnasium. Uh, I played on our intramural basketball team. Uh, I saw our students present experimental film pieces at the Flint Theater. Uh, so our students really kind of get out there and are trying to uh, shape uh, both their educations and their passions and the community. And you know, with Champlain College, um, it's not just about our uh, programs here uh, on our campus, but we really want to be an engine of opportunity for Vermont. 
we thrive when Vermont thrives. I was recently with a major business leader who said that about 15% of her employees are from Champlain College and her organization would not be what it is uh, had it not been for you know our community of alumni and graduates. So I spend a lot of time with business and community leaders because when we get it right, we lift people and communities together. And uh, I love that Vermont's a place where we can sit down and make things happen. And we have those types of relationships. Uh, you know, the last thing I'd share is uh, we recently had uh, one of our incredible faculty members, Sheila Wining, uh, release a book uh, called About Hanging Out. And it's just about the importance of community and being together. And I just thought it was a great, uh, really emblematic of what we're trying to create here, this kind of community and sense of belonging, both within Champlain College, but beyond in Vermont. So you've given us a little bit of a sense of what a Champlain College student is. Uh, a little bit more about that. And, and what kind of student should consider Champlain? Absolutely. So just like we have an innovative, unconventional approach to education, uh, our students come here because they really appreciate that. So they're creative, they're entrepreneurs, they're makers and builders, you know, they want to have impact. Uh, we recently surveyed our first year students and 89% said they came to Champlain College because they wanted to be prepared for a meaningful uh, career. And you know, what that um, yeah, it looks like is, you know, Champlain's a place where you can come and you can explore your passion and you can, uh, you want to be supported by this small, close-knit community. This is a place where every student is known by their peers, they're known by their faculty, and, uh, you know, so you explore your passion, you're known by your community, and you go out in the world and you have these experiences that help you uh, be ready. Our students major in technology design, business, social innovation. And so, you know, they're coming to explore, you know, one of those things um, and, uh, 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 you know, really kind of build a, build, build a future for themselves here. Awesome. So Champlain is known as, as, as a place that can pivot quickly. It's known for its innovative yeah. areas of, of study, including cybersecurity and gaming. What are, would you say, are your key academic programs now and, and what's on the horizon? Yeah, it's, uh, so our five largest majors are, and some of those you mentioned, so it's uh, game software, video gaming, cybersecurity, digital forensics. Uh, we have a huge uh, creative community. Filmmaking is one of our uh, largest majors and they are the ones who were highlighted at the Flynn Theater last weekend. Uh, computer science, business, um, and really, you know, the magic happens at the intersection of these subjects. So it's not just about studying technology and spending, you know, four years uh, studying technology and, and nothing else. We have this really interdisciplinary experience. And so I'll give you an example. I was at uh, Hula, the technology accelerator, the other day visiting a company called OVR Technologies. And they brought out their first prototype uh, when they were launching as a company, which is created by a group of Champlain students who came from different backgrounds uh, to help create their first prototype that was really kind of uh, the beginning of the company. So it's really rewarding to see how students come together and bring different you know, types of expertise. And you know, that really is how we organize our our programs and you know, we talked about our career focused majors we have this uh, core curriculum which is you know our innovative version of kind of the general education but it's really this uh, thoughtful four-year curriculum that's designed to, to teach students the human skills that they need to thrive throughout their career so how do you communicate how do you think how do you think across disciplines how do you think globally and uh, you know, it, it really speaks to the interdisciplinary aspect of our programs and how we want think, students to think uh, across courses and across majors. Right, that whole readiness. I, I love that, that word yes. ready that you've picked up on. So um, give us a sense of where your students are from um, and, uh, and do they stay in Vermont after graduation, which of course everyone's concerned about these days. Absolutely. Uh, this is a huge area of focus for us. So about 20% of our students are from Vermont. And when we have a graduating class, about 40% of these graduating classes stay in Vermont. Uh, we want to increase that to 50%. But it's really clear that uh, Champlain College has been an engine, sorry, has been a net importer of talent into Vermont, especially in really important uh, high need industries. And we want to just kind of continue uh, that because as you know, uh, in order for uh, our communities to thrive, uh, we need more highly skilled uh, people who can, uh, you know, both support you know, the local economy, but you know, be leaders in our communities and build a community. And uh, we're really excited to make that contribution. 
So when you say high need industries, are, are those places that you're looking at um, offering um, more education? Yeah, absolutely. So as we look at the next 10 years of Champlain College, uh, one of our big initiatives is to go full steam ahead, as we call it. And STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. We looked across the country and we asked uh, what are high school seniors interested in and you know, where does Champlain have programs? And it was really clear the areas where we could continue to offer new programs that we don't currently offer were in the STEAM fields, even though we're already strongly represented in those fields. And so we're offering new programs, we're offering animation uh, this fall. Uh, we've got a product design major uh, that we're currently working on. And then for the first time, we're expanded to the sciences, which we're really excited about. So health and the bio life sciences are growing in Vermont and our state needs technologists, designers, and business people who have a foundation in biology and chemistry. And you know, that's really what our expertise is, this kind of intersection of technology, business design, and social innovation. And you know, how can we layer this bio, the science lens uh, across that to really help fuel, um, uh, yeah, really help fuel the, the next decade. Sure. So, you know, higher education is a major investment. So we all know, what is your value proposition that you offer for students? Yeah, so I, I think our value proposition is really strong. So over the last, um, I mean, when you look at our graduating seniors, 91% of them have a successful career outcome within six months of graduation. And what we're really proud of that, of those students who go straight into the workforce, nine out of 10 of them work in jobs related to their major. So we're really clear that we're getting students ready uh, to launch their careers. We're getting them to launch their careers and jobs that are related to their majors. And we really want to do everything we can to make that possible for students. So 95% of our students from Vermont receive some type of financial aid. We, uh, I think, did about $10 million in scholarship assistance to Vermont uh, students this school year. And we have some really incredible uh, scholarship programs that are targeted for Vermont students. Uh, we have a single parents program. Uh, that's one of the oldest, maybe the first in the country, uh, 30 years old now, that uh, supports uh, single parents to finish their four-year degree. We have a new American uh, scholarship. We have a uh, first-generation scholarship, all of which is trying to expand access and opportunity for our Vermont students. F wonderful. And President Hernandez, just uh, we're, we're out of time. Quick advice for families and students who are going through the process of looking for a college. It's often very stressful your short piece of advice. Yeah, I, uh, I've got high school students, so I'm uh, very empathetic. I'd say the college process can be overwhelming, but there's a great student for, there's a great school for every student. And I would look for a place where you can explore your passions, receive the care and support you need to reach your goals because college students do need care and support and a place where you know you can launch your life and and, and hopefully they're getting you ready. And uh, you know those are the most important considerations I think that uh, you know, parents should be looking at. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can get more information uh, at www.champlain.edu. President Hernandez, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity. And thank you for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Stay well.